another beautiful day welcome once again to my youtube channel today we are at a legend's place but i won't tell you his name yet we have someone who's been taking us around this place and i hope you learn you need to learn this one so good morning sir yeah, good morning. please introduce yourself to us my name is chris osai chini okay i'm by the special grace of god i am the curator and the manager of this outfit that is known as the Revelation Taurus Palazzo and Museum. Okay. So you'll be taking us around oh, and sure. showing us a lot of things we need to see and know more about. Yes, the Revelation Taurus Palazzo, um, as we usually consider it, is the gateway to Edward State. Yeah. The slogan is, you don't know beneath if you have not visited the Revelation Taurus Palazzo, Paonia and by Professor Sir Victor Waifo, mm -hmm. who actually was the first Honorable Commissioner for Arts, Culture and Tourism in Edo State. Yeah, Mrs. Brent Chai, and of course, Professor Victor Waifo, PhD, a PhD MONJP. The musket is a time of four arms that uh, typically featured a long muscle loading smoke over a um, fire musket and shotguns. So they were the fire arms used against the Eda warriors in over Essigate's time. Origin belong, originally belonged to Professor Victor Weifel. He wrote on these when he was in the primary school, specifically in the late 50s. He wrote this more significantly is the fact that this was a bicycle. He was accustomed to riding from Benin to Abuja to and fro. This one, oh my God, what is mesmerizing and electrifying performance? This one. This is Festac, the famous Festac 77. Yeah, my dad talked about that. Oh, yes. yeah. This man, in fact, he made Bende proud. When he celebrated his uh, 30 years. And it's still very much in vogue if you go to some of our villages yeah. to find women like this. So men also do it. You know, uh, this using the loom to create fabrics from fiber. The slips. The slip trade began in 1630 and ended in the 1860s. During this terrible period, millions of Africans were captured and exported to sugar and other plantations, particularly in the Americas. This abominable trade caused the death of countless people in transit. British market. They would definitely chant like this. Find lots of slaves are for sale. Men, women, and children, not so for any fault, just to settle an estate. Street cries like this called customers to the slave traders to select a likely servant or two. Humane owners try to avoid splitting up a family, but a husband might cling helplessly to his wife's hand while the owners chant 
and lizard tag, a bee that would separate them for life. Yamo is the one in red, Ofege in left, the other one on the right is Lorenz Adini himself, on the right hand side. So on the day that we had made to face the fire of his court, at Asso Hill. Asso Hill. Just here. So the that, when the ritualist picks up maybe a piece of wood like this, mm -hmm. after putting or depositing this ritual practice, making ritual practice on it, from that time, it becomes a deity and no longer ordinary. Now, bless him, memory. When we visit the Oba, how do we how do we greet him? Oba, talk by everyone will say Ise means long live the king. Everyone will say Ise Ise means social. Ime means social. Ime means social. The invasion of the Bini Kingdom. Bini yeah. So we we'll flog it when the time comes. When we're ready. It is a white man. So there's Captain Moore after giving the bed, the judgment that mm -mm, he will no longer sit on the throne. So he was subsequently deported to Calabar in the spot. Took Calabar. You can see him sitting down, assuming his royal robe. And then some of the chiefs agonize him. And you find that soldiers triumphant and the part are spreading straight to Calabar. Mm -hmm. And between 1897 and 1914, there was no Oba in Benin. It's considered in history as a period or moment of interregnum. now. And um, but as I said earlier on, the course administration can never be left in vacuum. That also necessitated the appointment of uh, Chief Obaseki Awo, who hitherto was the ESL of Benin. Oba of ESL, that was him was appointed as the acting administrator. Uh, so when the Oba eventually passed on in Calabar, they, they picked room for the re hair parent of the throne. Mm -hmm. And that became uh, Prince Ayugoba Sini of Uranogbasi eventually became Oba Ewaka II, mm -hmm. the father of Oba Kenzo II, mm -hmm. the grandfather of Oba Eredjawa, and the great-grandfather of Oba Bye. Ewa II. Make of some seeds. Yeah. He was uh, found guilty of the Virginia Six of the Kingdom. Okay. Honorably, he yeah. committed suicide. Yeah. Well, this one refused. You can see the way he was slaughtered by it. You can see what happened to him eventually. Yeah. So. I'm going to take this song, I guess. I know you, I know you love um, gospel music. Usually I take this gospel music. I'm going to take the song originally done by an American gospel diva called Shelly Caesar, who actually wrote the song that she titled, I Have Decided. And I'm going to do it just my own way. I hope you will sing along when we start. There's a kind of spirit that I prefer Spirit that I believe Even sign, I never change 
Thy gets a pain to see it. Cause the voice inside here tell me Have changed by and by And get the spirit made clear to me The kind of light I like I have a sign And can and leave like a believer Turn my back and the receiver And go to leave but I believe I have a sign Being good is just a fable I just can't cause I'm not able I'm gonna leave it to the law Now we're going to motivation like Hope you had a nice time flying with us Yes, yes. We look nice. forward to having you fly with us another time yes, So thank you Thank you so much <laughs> thank you, Guys, I hope you enjoyed that performance Because I did <laughs>